In this lesson, we are going to determine the convergence or divergence of the following series uh, using the nth term test for divergence. So just to recall, okay, if we have the, okay, so if the limit of the nth term as n approaches infinity doesn't go to zero, then that implies that the series associated with that uh, nth term will diverge, okay? Okay, so that is the nth term test, okay? So what we're gonna do, okay, we're gonna look at the, um, the nth terms of each of these series and then take the limit. Okay, so for the first one, we have that the limit of 2 to the n. So 2 to the n, as n is approaching infinity, 2 to the n is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So therefore, this is going to infinity. So infinity is not equal to 0. So therefore, by the nth term test, the series is diverging. Okay, so it diverges, okay, by the nth term test, okay. Uh, the next one, we have the summation of n factorial all divided by 2n factorial plus 1, going from n equals 0 to infinity. So we're going to take the limit of the nth term, so we have the limit of n factorial all over 2n factorial plus 1. So the way we can take this, the way we can evaluate this limit is similar to um, if we're taking the limit of a rational function. We can look in the denominator, okay, and then divide. Look at the highest, uh, look at the highest power, and then divide each term by that highest power. But okay, so in this case, we can use in the denominator we have n factorial, so we can rewrite this as the limit as n goes infinity of n factorial divided by n factorial, okay? And then we have two n factorial divided by n factorial plus one over n factorial, okay? So just taking, right, just taking n factorial and dividing by each term here. And then we can simplify this. n factorial over n factorial is just one. And then we have uh, n factorials cancel out there on the bottom, so that's going to leave us with 2 and then plus 1 over n factorial. So as n approaches infinity, um, 1, over n factor 1 over n factorial is going to go to 0, so therefore that leaves us with 1 half. Okay, and 1 half is not equal to 0, so therefore by the nth term test, this series is going to diverge. Okay, so let me write that a little bit bigger. So we have n factorial over 2n factorial plus 1. So this is going to diverge. Okay, so it diverges. Okay, all right. All right, let's look at example three. So we have um, basically just one over n uh, of the sum summation of one over n, where n is going from one to infinity. So if we take, um, so if we take the limit as n approaches infinity of one over n, This is going to give us zero, okay? But we can't um, remember. We can't conclude. We can't make any conclusion here. 
just because the limit of the in, just because the limit of the n term is going to zero doesn't necessarily doesn't tell you it doesn't tell us anything about what the series is doing. At this point, all we know is the series could be converging or diverging. Okay, so at this point, uh, there's no conclusion. Okay. All right. However, um, it turns out that this uh, this series actually um, this is a what's called a this is a type of p series. Um, it's actually a harmonic series, okay, which is a type of p series. So this uh, this series actually um, diverges, okay. All right. So this is a harmonic. This is what we call a harmonic series. Okay, so it's a harmonic series. Okay, and it diverges. And we're gonna, this will be, uh, dim, we're gonna show, we're gonna show that this series diverges in an, in another video lesson. Okay, all right. But the point here is that um, just because the um, just because the limit of the nth term goes to zero um, doesn't necessarily tell you that the series converges or diverges. Okay, so that's something very important to keep in mind. Okay, as we progress through this uh, uh, through this uh, series concepts.